Are you ready to transform your normal e-commerce business into one that experiences exponential growth year after year using online advertising? If so, this show is for you. Me and my guests will show you how you too can grow your e-commerce business to seven or even eight figures so you can go on more luxurious vacations, spoil yourself and your family, say yes to more opportunities and become financially free so you never have to worry about money again. Welcome to the e-commerce performance marketing show. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Josh Parson here, host of the e-commerce performance marketing show. I've got an incredible episode for you right now. This episode is going to dive into one of the most critical uh, KPIs, key performance indicators in every single business, especially e-commerce. But the thing is, is that time and time again, e-commerce business owners neglect the super important metric that should be a focal point of your marketing. Now you're probably wondering, what am I talking about? What is Josh talking about? What nonsense is he talking about right now? Well, I'm talking about lead generation. Lead generation is huge. And time and time again, when I'm connecting with e-commerce businesses, business owners uh, that have me come into their businesses, you know, spend a thousand bucks per hour to have my help, they are neglecting lead generation. For example, we're helping right now a, f a new company that came on board a few months ago that's doing multiple seven figures a year and they weren't doing any lead generation. So we're fixing that because we know that if we can fix their lead generation, it's going to increase their ROI from advertising and it's going to help them grow much faster as well. So lead generation is powerful and I want you to really get that because I see time and time again, whether they're successful or new e-commerce business owners, they're not leveraging lead generation. They're not trying to focus on lead generation strategies. All they care about is getting the customer, getting the customer. Yes, I get it. Yes, getting a customer is something that's critical and run, you know, the more cash you bring into the business, the better your business is. I totally get that. But, you know, you you're trying if you're focused so much on just getting customers, it's like in the dating world. It's like going up to a woman you know, if you're into women, that is, because I know these days, you know, there's lots of different interests out there. But, um, you know, because I don't want to judge anybody. So anyway, with that said, if you're going up to a woman, you're not going to go up to them and be like, hey, go on a date with me. Hey, marry me. You're not going to do that. You're going to scare them away. What I'm talking about is I'm talking about crossing the threshold and recognizing and respecting where someone is at in the customer value journey of your business. Because... In that sense, that's no different, that metaphor is no different than an e-commerce business that's always trying to go after a sale. Instead of trying to deliver value up front, deliver value and then get a lead out of it, and then ask them for a sale eventually. That should be your process. That's the proper marketing journey process that you should have in your business. So in today's episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about lead generation and how powerful that is for an e-commerce business and you're gonna walk away with several key lessons and also some tips. I'm gonna give you some specific things you can do right away to increase your lead generation in your e-commerce business uh, that literally can will take you like an hour, maybe two at the most, and boom, you're gonna get leads coming into your business. So I'm sure you're excited. I, I just built it up, so let me go ahead and let me dive in and let me talk to you about the customer value journey because you need to understand how a proper customer value journey is in an e-commerce business first before I really dive into what lead generation is all about and give you some specific lead generation types and on top of that give you some tools that you can use to get you leads in your business very very fast as well so let's jump in okay guys what you see here on screen is the customer value journey and this is the customer value journey worksheet which you can find in the links below because I really want you to not only watch this episode, I want you to take action from this episode. So I'm leaving you with this link so this way you can go to this article, you can read more about the customer value journey from our partners at Digital Marketer, and you can understand it. And you can also download this worksheet and you can use it in your business because this is powerful because this is basically following the trends of what is working right now when it comes to effective marketing online. So effective marketing online, effective advertising, that's part of marketing. You need to follow this process to get the best possible results in your business. So whether you're new, whether you're growing, whether you're already at seven, eight figures, this is what works. And so you do want to understand it. Um, and 
as you can see here, it starts with the awareness stage, then it goes into engagement. And I'm skipping a little bit ahead here because this episode is all about the subscribe stage. It's all about getting the lead, getting an email into your database that you can then use to be able to follow up on in your email marketing and your advertising, you name it. So you really want to have this process, this journey in your business. And this is why the ARM5 formula at my company uh, is related to the customer value journey is based off of it basically in a lot of ways because this is what's working this is what's following trends right now and you can find more in my book even uh, that is uh, due to be released on uh, June uh, 25th uh, so we talk about Facebook advertising and all the trends right now happening with Facebook advertising and what strategies that you can use to capitalize on those trends in your e-commerce business and I say myself and also 12 other highly regarded, highly respected experts in Facebook advertising. So going back to this, so as you can see here, the subscribe stage is before the convert stage. The convert stage is where you get the sale. The subscribe stage is an earlier stage in the customer value journey. And it is a stage that needs to be represented in your marketing for you to have the best possible marketing performance in your e-commerce business. And I'll make this point a little bit further here in a sec because I actually want to show you the difference between two e-commerce stores and what lead generation can do if you really focus on it, what it can do to your bottom line in your e-commerce business. So watch for that here in a sec. Okay. So I just want to really start with this because this is super important because if you don't follow the customer value journey in your business, you're not going to get the best marketing performance. You're also not going to capitalize on the ROI that you can generate from all your advertising or traffic in your e-commerce business. And you're going to miss a lot of opportunities and you don't want to do that. You want to have this model in your business. This is why I cover it in my business with clients, uh, both on the agency side and on the done with you arm five formula accelerator side, which as of this recording, we still have a few spots, but if you don't act fast, those spots might be taken. So if you are interested, go to arm5formula.com and click on apply to go through this program with me where I could transform your e-commerce business into one that grows very, very fast. So anyway, I'm not here to promote, I'm here to provide value. So I also want to go over this with you guys. So there is various lead magnets uh, types that are very, very effective uh, in any business online. Uh, but these are some of them. So feel free to kind of write these down and feel free to brainstorm what are some lead magnets that you can create in your e-commerce business that are based off of these types. Like you've got the report guide type, the toolkit resource list type, the software download trial type, which probably isn't you know relevant to an e-commerce business, quiz survey type, huge, uh, Ryan Levesque's the guy to follow to find out more about how to use quizzes and surveys very effectively. He's basically kind of like the master of quizzes and surveys online has made tons of money himself and for other businesses by helping them with the quiz uh, funnel architecture when it comes to funnels. Uh, so check out Ryan Levesque and his stuff. It's a light promo for him. Uh, he's a mentor of mine years ago. I spent a lot of time with him, learned a lot from him. So I highly respect him, highly value him. And I highly recommend that you check out his stuff as well. And then uh, blind sales material for you know your products cheat sheet handouts, um, maybe serving a niche related to your product to help them achieve X, Y, Z. Like if you're selling, for example, uh, energy boosting supplements, you know, here's a cheat sheet on the seven different ways you can boost your energy naturally, for example. You know, I just threw that out there. Video training. So I do quite a bit of that. So, um, I've got the RM5 formula mini class. I've got uh, a case study how to, you know, training. So video training works very, very well. And discount free shipping, that's obviously very relevant to e-com businesses. And that's one of the easiest lead magnets you can implement into your e-commerce business is having like a, a savings club and call it something, you know, something sexy. Um, but, you know, basically what it is, it's a savings club where if they sign up, they save 10% on their first purchase or they save 10% for life, you know, something along those lines. And actually, this is completely unrelated, but... This is an upsell that works very, very well for e-commerce businesses. Uh, you could sell like a $10 a month subscription to customers that gives them 10, 15% off, 
uh, for life for being a member of your subscription club. You can name it whatever you want. And on top of that, shipping is waived. It's like basically creating your own Amazon Prime environment in your business. So that's a huge, powerful upsell, works very well, it's proven, uh, feel free to implement it. So I just thought I would tell you that. And then finally going further down this list, assessment, test, you know, it's kind of similar to a quiz, but a little different. And then step one of the order form is technically a lead magnet, but I wouldn't really regard that as a lead magnet. So there's definitely plenty of opportunity for businesses to create lead magnets that can be implemented into your marketing and also into your customer value journey. So this way you're acquiring leads early on in the marketing process. And again, going back to the beginning of this episode, marketing is very similar to relationship building. You know, it takes time. It takes time to build that relationship with someone to the point where they want to buy from you or to the point where they want to be serious with you, right? So take that into account and really implement lead generation into your business. And it's not that hard to create these lead magnets. It really isn't. Um, you can go to Upwork or you can go to Writer's Access, that's a copywriting source. You could ask them, pay them to create a report for you with a substantial amount of words. You tell them how many words you're paying for and tell them the topic, You know, give them some ideas maybe. Um, and then they can create it and then boom, you just, you now have a report. Then go to Fiverr or go to Upwork, uh, find a good graphic designer to turn that typed up report into an actual graphically designed uh, lead magnet that's brand consistent with your brand, with your e-commerce store. And um, this way it has high perceived value. You want, to, you want to make sure it really looks very good and very professional. And boom, you know, they'll turn it into a very professional, high perceived value report or guide very quickly. So right there in a week maybe, you would have a lead magnet that you can then use on a squeeze page, which if which I recommend that you use funnels to get leads. Um, this way you really control the conversion process, you control the experience. Um, websites have too many distractions, funnels have less distractions that are much more optimized for getting higher conversions than a typical e-commerce site. That's why funnels are powerful. Uh, so there is a link below that will give you access to lead funnels by ClickFunnels, which is a software we highly recommend that we use uh, in our business and in our clients' businesses. We highly recommend it. Uh, but this way you have squeeze pages that you can drive traffic to, whether it's organic or advertising traffic. And if you use a good lead magnet and have good messaging, good copy, you don't need complex design, there's templates actually that ClickFunnels will give you, and you customize that and make it brand consistent with your e-commerce store, you'll have a very high converting 20% plus squeeze page to be able to acquire leads from traffic very, very quickly. So click on that link below, get that, I highly recommend it, um, and take this process that I just gave you and create a lead magnet very, very quickly using external resources. This way you don't have to figure it out yourself, you don't have to tax yourself, um, or, or you can you know, do some of that stuff yourself if you'd like. You, you can write the report and then you can give it to a graphic designer. It's up to you, I, I mean, I totally get it. Okay, I'm also gonna leave you with uh, a few other kind of bonuses here. Now this, these are two tools uh, for e-commerce businesses that will allow you to get leads right away. I promise you this at the beginning and I was, wasn't gonna under deliver on this. So here are the two. Wheelio.io, click the link below, and you can actually get that app. You can implement it into your Shopify store. Um, and then Let'sSpin.io uh, is another one. Um, I prefer Let'sSpin.io because it integrates with Segmate, which is a very good Facebook Messenger tool uh, owned by Carl Schuchert, a highly regarded entrepreneur. He's a friend of mine. and. Um, you want to be able to leverage as many channels as possible in your e-commerce business. And so if you use letspin.io, you'll be able to integrate that with your Facebook Messenger and your Facebook business page. And you'll be able to follow up with people on Facebook Messenger and email. So it's really powerful. So I, I definitely recommend one of those. But, but the, both of those are um, contest, uh, essentially, contest plugins for your e-commerce site. And it makes it very, very quick, very, very easy to be able to have a very effective lead magnet that works very well in e-commerce businesses. I think that you can probably expect somewhere around eight to 10% is what I've seen um, on the opt-in conversion. Uh, so that means that if you look at 
how many people come to your site over the past 30 days. If you had one of these plugins into your e-commerce business, you would have eight to 10% of those visitors becoming leads into your business, into your database. And you know, some of those probably would have became customers with follow-up marketing too. So keep that in mind. So very powerful, definitely implement one of those tools very quickly and also get one of these really good lead magnets also in your business that you could put onto a squeeze page. So this way you can use that in your marketing process to acquire leads. So as I mentioned throughout this entire episode, it's super important that you have lead generation strategies in your business to get the best possible results from your e-commerce business, from your traffic. Um, so check this out. Here is a comparison between a funnel or a website that really incorporates lead generation and a funnel or website that doesn't incorporate lead generation. So first off, let me just explain here that someone that you drive to your store to buy that doesn't know a whole lot about you, they're going to convert at a lower rate because they don't know you. Um, they don't trust you yet. They haven't built a relationship with you. They haven't built value with you and your brand. So leads are going to always convert, uh, excuse me, they're always going to convert higher than a someone that you're driving your store that hasn't gotten any value from your business whatsoever. So as you can see here, if you have a lead generation strategy in your business and you're converting at 25% on the lead, you know, you're going to convert at a higher rate because these people are warmed up. Um, and then the rest of the conversions are 100% identical. This is uh, upsell one, we call it profit maximizer. Uh, this is upsell two, this is profit maximizer two. Okay, and with this, this is like 5,000 visitors. You're looking at um, $4,399 in total earnings off of three different offers, price at $47, $97, and $199. Uh, this is assuming that the cost per click is $0.05. Cents. You're paying $2,500 for 5,000 visitors to your e-commerce site or your funnel, and so you're making some profit, okay? So that's one snapshot, it's one scenario. That's if you have lead generation. Now let me even show you this too. Like if you were to optimize your lead generation, do a really good lead magnet, test it thoroughly with headlines, images, um, structure of the page, you name it, and you get that to 50%, which a lot of lead mag magnets can do 50%. We've done it time and time again. Look at your total earnings. It just bumped up, it jumped quite a bit, and you're also your profit jumped as well. Your cost per lead too is only a dollar per lead, okay? Now let's look at the difference here. If, you're, if you have an e-commerce store or funnel and you don't have lead generation uh, implemented into your store or funnel, you know, look at the difference here. 5,000 visitors, you know, this is an assumption, but this is based off of seven plus years of experience you'll get maybe a 1%, maybe a 2% conversion on your store with people that are not warmed up to your brand. If it's a good ad, good offer, everything's consistent, good website, good copy, you know, good conversion process, you name it. There's a lot of factors there, obviously. But um, when you look at this and you look at, you know, everything else is identical, you know, the profit maximizer one, profit maximizer two, identical conversions, 3,519 total earnings. Okay, you're paying 50 bucks per lead because you're not focused on the lead, you're focused on the customer. Um, same cost for traffic, and you are making some profit, but not nearly as much, whether it's a 25% on the lead magnet conversion or whether it's a 20 or 50% on the lead magnet conversion. You're still seeing substantial more profit by having a lead generation strategy in your marketing. So I just want to hit this home because numbers never lie. As I mentioned throughout this entire episode, it's super important that you have lead generation strategies in your business to get the best possible results from your e-commerce business, from your traffic. Um, so check this out. Here is a comparison between a funnel or a website that really incorporates lead generation and a funnel or website that doesn't incorporate lead generation. So first off, let me just explain here that Someone that you drive to your store to buy that doesn't know a whole lot about you, they're going to convert at a lower rate because they don't know you. Um, they don't trust you yet. They haven't built a relationship with you. They haven't built value with you and your brand. So leads are going to always convert, uh, excuse me, they're always going to convert higher 
than a someone that you're driving your store that hasn't gotten any value from your business whatsoever. So as you can see here, if you have a lead generation strategy in your business and you're converting at 25% on the lead, you know, you're going to convert at a higher rate because these people are warmed up. Um, and then the rest of the conversions are 100% identical. This is uh, upsell one, we call it profit maximizer. Uh, this is upsell two, this is profit maximizer two. Okay, and with this, this is like 5,000 visitors. You're looking at um, $4,399 in total earnings off of three different offers, price at $47, $97, and $199. Uh, this is assuming that the cost per click is five cents. You're paying $2,500 for 5,000 visitors to your e-commerce site or your funnel, and so you're making some profit, okay? So that's one snapshot. It's one scenario. That's if you have lead generation. Now, let me even show you this too. Like if you were to optimize your lead generation, do a really good lead magnet, test it thoroughly with headlines, images, um, structure of the page, you name it, and you get that to 50%, which a lot of lead mag magnets can do 50%. We've done it time and time again. Look at your total earnings. It just bumped up. It jumped quite a bit, and you're also your profit jumped as well. Your cost per lead, too, is only a dollar per lead, okay? Now, let's look at the difference here. If, you're, if you have an e-commerce store or funnel and you don't have lead generation, uh, implement it into your store or funnel. You know, look at the difference here. 5,000 visitors, you know, this is an assumption, but this is based off of seven plus years of experience. You'll get maybe a 1%, maybe a 2% conversion on your store with people that are not warmed up to your brand. If it's a good ad, good offer, everything's consistent, good website, good copy, you know, good conversion process, you name it. There's a lot of factors there, obviously. But um, when you look at this and you look at, you know, everything else is identical, you know, the profit maximizer one, profit maximizer two, identical conversions, 3,519 total earnings, okay? You're paying 50 bucks per lead because you're not focused on the lead, you're focused on the customer. Um, same cost for traffic and you are making some profit but not nearly as much, whether it's a 25% on the lead magnet conversion or whether it's a 20, or 50% on the lead magnet conversion, you're still seeing substantial more profit by having a lead generation strategy in your marketing. So I just wanna hit this home because numbers never lie. Thank you for tuning into the e-commerce performance marketing show. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment with a timestamp of your favorite part and share it with a friend. Until our next episode, here's to you and the success of your e-commerce business.